Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about three operators that is equal to, double equal to and triple equal to. So we'll see why exactly they are used and what's the difference between all three of them. So we'll mostly focus on the difference between double equal to and three equal to uh, operator. So for those who are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. And for those who are already aware, please go back and check my previous videos for more details on the JavaScript concepts. Let's get started. So we'll follow the below content for our tutorial for today. That is what is a single equal to. So single equal to is a assignment operator as we all know. So we can assign a value to a variable using this single operator or single equal to operator. The second is the double equal to operator. So it's a kind of a equality operator which checks for equality, but it's a loose equality operator. So we'll see about what exactly loose means in this case. Uh, and also we'll cover about why it's, we say it is performing a type coercion. So if you see in the example over here that 90 equals to string 90, the result is true and it is performing a type coercion. So we'll also talk about that in the session and the triple equal to is a strict equality operator. We'll also see in detail what exactly that is and uh, how we check that. So I'll go to my studio code. We are here. So first we'll do one thing, we'll start by creating a single variable. So I'll say const age, let's say, and I will say 20. Now if you see here, the single operator over or a single equal to operator over here is a assignment operator which is being used. So the first one is clear and uh, it is used for assigning a value to a variable that is 20. We are assigning a value to this age variable. That's good. Now we'll write a if condition, we'll say if age is equal to equal to 20. Then we'll go inside and we'll print something in the console log and we will say the age I'm sorry the age is 20 and uh, if not then we'll say the age is not 20. Now we'll save it and I'll go to my console and I will refresh it. So you can see it says the age is 20 because it's correct, right? So we are comparing between two values that is 20 and 20. That's correct. Now the interesting point here is like if let's say I have a variable over here which is storing a value that's a string value. And if I save this and if I refresh this in the browser, you can see it still says the age is 20. But that's not correct, right? Because we are comparing a age that is a variable that is 20, that's a string over here with a integer value, right? So it should not go into this condition. That is the age is 20. It should go into this condition saying the age is not 20. But what is happening is JavaScript by default performs type coercion in which it converts the value from one data type to another data type. So in this case, what is happening? It's converting the string into an integer and we're checking like that. So that's why we say this particular double quotes operator is a loose equality operator because it performed by type coercion by default. But now if we go and write one more block of code and I will say this is for triple equal to. So if I let's say first compare the initial example that is comparing 20 by 20. Okay, so now what are we doing? We're comparing an integer with an integer. And let's say what happens if I go to the browser and refresh, it says the age is 20. So we are good. So that's the same thing. We got it in this particular block of code as well. Now let's say I am storing age as a string variable and I'm comparing string variable with a integer variable. Now we'll refresh the browser. Now it says the age is not 20. Why? Because so triple equal to does not perform type coercion by default. So it compares the value and the type both, but in this case, you can clearly see it is not performing a type coercion. That's why we always say triple equal to is a strict equality operator. Now, again, we'll go back to the browser and we'll check the same thing. Yes, so it's, it's done. So this is one very, very basic example of how we can use double equal to and triple equal to. And it's also of many use if you see in the real time scenario, because in real time scenarios, we take a lot of inputs from, from the user, right? So for example, we'll ask user to enter his name, user ID, password, and number of things, right? So whenever anything is entered from there, it mostly comes in a form of a string. 
So let's say I say uh, user enter as age. So the user will enter age, let's say 20. But when it comes to the code, it will be a string. So it will be a 20 as a string, right? So in that case, double equal to is of no use because it will always compare or perform a type coercion and always return a false value or a not a correct value. So for that case, we always use a triple equal to just to perform correct validation in our code and just to avoid any unnecessary bug that comes up. So that's all about the double equal to and triple equal to. I will again go back to the browser and show you there in the console as well. Let's clear this. So same thing if I write 20 equal to equal to 20, it's true. 20 equal to equal to 20, which is a string. It's true. Now if I say 20 equal to equal to equal to 20, it should be false. So we can see the same thing is coming here in the console as well. Anyways, it should be same because it's just printing it there. So uh, that's the difference between single equal to, double equal to and triple equal to. I hope you like this video and the examples was sufficient for getting the details on this particular concept. So please like, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.